In this video I'm going to be doing an overview of Lightcam HD and telling you what I think. So at the top you can see it's got a bar with some of the most important shortcuts. We'll go over what those are later. If we click on the settings icon to start off with. So the full settings menu is nice and cleanly laid out and easy to use. So if we click onto mode we've got general recording, video recording and audio recording. So you can choose the right one whatever you're using it for. So select an area. This is where you have lots of presets for the most commonly used sizes. You can enter your own resolution in. Um, you can also select it to auto fit to a program, which I think is a really good feature. So you don't have to fiddle around to try and make it fit. You can just have it snap to a program immediately. And then there's full screen as well. Next we've got frames per second. Uh, you can choose from 10 all the way up to 30 frames per second, which is quite nice. You can choose which one you like. I'm going to leave mine on 30 as that's the best you can record at. Audio device, here you can choose if you want it to record your system's audio, your microphone's audio or no audio at all. So this feature is where you can place your webcam over your video while you're recording, which I haven't seen on any other screen recording software which is really useful so you can just choose the format you want that in and which webcam you want and uh, you can choose where you want to position it on your screen as well which I think is great. So this settings where you can change the look of the mouse pointer, change the color and the size. You can uh, also just leave it off if you want to and let it record the mouse normally. So uh, here you can change the format for capturing screenshots. You can choose if you want it PNG, JPEG or bitmap. I tend to leave it on PNG. So now we've got the video options, the format you want to record in and the encoder to use. So I like to use the NVIDIA CUDA one as uh, it maximizes performance but there's loads to choose from and you can choose whether you want to record the audio in WAV or MP3. Here you can add a title to your video which is a great feature to have. There's also one to add credits to your videos as well. So this next feature allows you to put a watermark over your videos and you can choose where you want to position that and you can also choose the transparency of it as well. So I think this is a great feature to have. This next feature allows you to set a start time and an end time for your videos. You can also choose for it to shut down after recording. So this feature allows you to change the shortcut keys which is great because you might have programs that use the same ones and you can change those depending on what the other ones have. So they've also built into the software a file converter so you can change one format to another if you recorded it in one and you decide actually you want it to be an mp4 not AVI and you can choose if you want it to be high quality etc which I think is great and they've also done the same for audio you've got an audio converter as well which is again great because it saves you having to have another program to convert things. You can just do it all in this one. So this feature allows you to extract the audio file from a video, which um, I've never seen before on um, any screen capturing software, but I think this feature could come in handy for some people. So here you can choose where you want it to save the videos to and the logs folder. You can also change whether you want the recording area to be highlighted and blinking and you can also choose whether you want it to run a preview of the recording afterwards. And then here you've got online guides, frequently asked questions, you can contact them for support and you can also update it and stuff all from here. So if we take a look at the shortcuts bar at the top, the first shortcut takes you to recording mode, which we talked about earlier. And the second one takes you to the screen's resolution for recording and then there's frames per second. And then there's your audio device, your mouse pointer, and then placing your webcam on the screen is the last one. You can move the selection window with the icon in the middle, and you can also choose any custom size you want by moving the corners in and out. So if I do a test recording here, you can see it counts down from three, and um, you can take a screenshot from inside it. You can also got a pen so you can draw stuff, which I think is great. I haven't seen this on any other screen recording software, the ability to use a pen while recording. I think that's a really useful feature. You can choose any colors for those and they've got every color you can imagine here. And then afterwards, this is the preview window where you can just see what you've just recorded. 
and at the bottom you've got open folder, upload to YouTube, trim, convert file, save as, open folder and delete selected file. So if I save this and I'll show you what it looks like, here we can see it playing with Windows Media Player. So my favourite five features are the hardware acceleration, the ability to use NVIDIA CUDA as well as others to improve performance, the lossless high compression, small file sizes without compromising on video quality, high FPS without loss of frame rate, record at 30 frames a second with low CPU usage, allows you to experience no lag while recording, draw on the screen, the built-in pen tool allows you to draw on the screen, which I think is a really good feature. Audio extraction and file conversion, you don't need to have another program to do that, you can just do all of that inside Lightcam HD, which I think is really useful. For more information, check out lightcam.net. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe.